You can see the earthquake rupture here, and this is based upon the latest information available on the uh, fault rupture itself. Uh, now we've compressed the time here. You're seeing in 30 seconds what is about one hour. The first thing the earthquake does is it actually tilts Wellington Harbour. So it's bigger on the um, uplift on the east and, a, and, a, and less of an uplift on the west. So it generates a seiche inside Wellington Harbour. And that's the first thing you see in the animation. It comes into Evans Bay from the north about 11 minutes after the earthquake. About 12 minutes after, the first little wave arrives in Lyle Bay. And immediately after that, the water goes out. And it goes out for quite a long time up to sort of five minutes or so and so anyone who happens to think oh look there are some fish down there or some shellfish let's go down and pick them don't do it because the water comes in again very very quickly within a couple of minutes the wave comes in and hits the coast of Lyle Bay uh, the big red stuff means it's uh, pretty pretty large six to eight meters high this goes right up and over uh, Rongatai Isthmus that means over the airport it also heads off to the east and down into the very low-lying area of Miramar, which used to be a lake and, in this case, probably becomes something of a uh, saltwater swimming pool for a short while.